Edition of Florida Pickers. I'm over here in uh, Wachula, Florida, and I'm looking at this flat nose bus, which I don't know a whole lot about, but I'm fixing to learn. This is a 2002, and <clears throat> it does not run right now, uh, but we're going to sell it not running so we're gonna give it a shot let's uh take a look outside here before we go inside looks like they did a little someone ran into the side of them so there's a side door here that's cool that these regular buses that uh, don't have this flat nose bus does have also you have what they call a pusher which means the engine's in the rear, which a lot of people like, versus the normal bus where the engine's up front. Now, um, as we walk around, we're looking for rust, we're looking for wear and tear, broken windows, haven't seen any of that. And look at those big Goodyear tires, G149 RSA. <clears throat> so here we go. I'm going to slip my fingers in here and open this up. And there's the number 0225. So here we come into this bus with me. It looks like a regular school bus. Um, let's look over here at the controls. They look a little different in this bus than the other one. Digital, uh, because it's a 2002, it's a digital odometer. And buses like this. Odometer readings really don't mean a whole lot. They've got these diesel engines and so they do run For a million miles and more hence why school buses uh, last so long so they do get put out to pasture occasionally and So here we are driving the bus looks like it's an automatic and so uh, we don't know the engine size, but we can find that out. And so everybody, let's see what happens with our flat nose bus. It's only $3,500. Signing off.